Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video where we're going to be discussing our tree cutting problem, this time with replanting. Let's go. So I just want to first note that uh, the inspiration for this video comes from uh, Victor Matheson's 2009 paper, Alternative Methods for Calculating Optimal Timber Rotation, a critique of the Stokely Lucas Prescott tree cutting problem, and that is from Applied Economics Letters. And he says that this type of functional equation, right? Where we have the option now to replant the tree after going and cutting it, there is no simple rule regarding optimal harvest time. And I'm going and throwing down uh, the gauntlet here instead of you know being a real academic and actually uh, going and emailing the author. And I'm gonna go and try saying there is indeed a rule for going and uh, demonstrating optimal harvest time here by going and considering two set of criteria. So let's go and see what that looks like. So the problem that we're going and we're looking at is the following, um, where we're choosing to go and maximize this function where our decision is to either, you know, cut down the tree without going and replanting it, which is denoted by this KT here. Um, let the tree grow for another period but that's going to be discounted by beta versus cut down the tree and then go and replant it and pick up this vacancy value. So in order to solve this, we have to consider three cases. We have to consider this case like from before, we've seen uh, a couple times now, um, that is whether to go and chop down the tree and, or whether to go and let it grow. We know that the rule there is that we have this type of equilibrium concept. Um, that is where our rate of return on the market is going to be equal to the growth rate of the tree. Um, for this value function where we're going and we're considering whether to cut down the tree without replanting or to cut down the tree and then go and replant it, it's pretty clear what we could go and see here. It's that we have to go and have it a case for where this is a difference is when this value of going and holding empty land is going to be equal to the cost of going and replanting. And for this third rule, right, it's not so uh, readily apparent uh, to us. We can't just, uh, you know, look at this and have a solution. So we're going to go and work through the algebra on this one. So like before, um, we're just going to go and note our point of indifference uh, that we go and we have for this particular problem. Um, and we're gonna go and you know plug in our values that are there. And with a little bit of algebra, um, you know, hopefully once you're up to here, you could see how we get down here. We go and we get our solution concept characterized by the following. That is the net value of holding vacant land, which is denoted by this side, has to be equal to the value, right, of going and letting your tree grow, right? Meaning that the portion that grows minus the, the portion that you could have went and earned, right? By going and investing there. So this is really a true growth that you're going and having um, there. So in order to go and solve this problem, we're gonna consider both of our solution concepts. One for the case of whether to cut down the tree and to go and let it grow another period or whether to go and cut down the tree and replant um, it or just cut down the tree and just never revisit it. Now, before I go and I proceed, I'm going to go and make an assumption, right? Which is not such a crazy assumption here. So it might not be a, a true solution that we go and we have here is that the growth, right? Of our capital stock or really our capital stock in the next period is going to be greater than the value of our empty land here. And this is going to be true for all for all KT, right? So for any period that we go and we have. With that, we're able to go and identify that in our top left quadrant, that our optimal solution is going to be one where we go and we cut down the tree and replant it. And that's going to be the most preferred option. The next preferred option is just going to be to cut down the tree and not replant it. And the third uh, last option is going to be to go and let it grow. Um, in our next right-hand side quadrant, we're gonna go and pick 
uh, that we go and cut down the tree without going and replanting it versus letting it grow. And the last one here is that we cut the tree down and then we go and we replant it, followed by our bottom two uh, columns where we go and we see that our most preferred option is just to go and let the tree go and grow. Uh, and our on our right hand side in the bottom here, it's we also see that it is to go and let the tree grow with our options of cutting down the tree and replanting it versus uh, cutting down the tree and not replanting it alternating spots on each side of this problem. Now to go and clean up this solution concept a little bit more or what we see for our decision rule. We just have this table here for what to go and pick. Um, so we see clearly that in this situation up here, we go and we see that replanting the tree is the best option, going and cutting it down and not replanting, letting it grow and letting it grow. So um, that's probably the longest video in the series on uh, tree cutting problems. But I just wanted to go and demonstrate that we can indeed go and solve these problems. So I hope this video helps. Take care.